time I'm showing you adjustment of the max shower door. This one's a clear finish. It also comes with a hammered finish for the glass. I actually like the clear finish. I don't work for max or anything. I just uh, thought I'd show Welcome you how to the it. It's got a pretty nice shower door here. It's uh, all glass, see-through. Problem is, a little hard to close here. And wanted to show you how to adjust these up. Now, they're all different. A lot of them have like a deal that you loosen and a slide. This particular one actually has a pivot here and a pivot screw that you adjust from up here. A little tricky to get in there and I may need to pull my deal off so I'm going to hold this open kind of with my foot here and see if I can get enough of an angle to tighten it up or loosen it up, whatever needs to happen. I believe tightening it up will hold it over more my way. I'm gonna see here. Able to get in there just enough. That actually seems to be pushing it the other way, unfortunately. Definitely. So, what I've gotta do is loosen it up instead. Kind of works in reverse here. And we'll just kind of have to keep checking it and see if we're getting better. And I may be able to just pull my deal off take the tension off and then adjust it by hand this way. So let's see if that'll work out for me. Let's see. Oh yeah, it turns relatively easily. And that's definitely moving the way we want it to go. So it's just a little reverse of how we would think. I can test it from in here. That's much better. Okay. And the question is, I need to move it on the bottom as well. Which I think I do just, just a little bit. Pretty much nicer to uh, adjust it than some of them I've seen. A lot of them, some of them have a nut on the bottom that you have to adjust over. And it just doesn't always work out so easy. So this is a pretty cool deal. So I'm going to assume it's the same thing of loosening this to come this way. I'm just going to go a little bit and test it out. That seemed to make it a little worse for me. But it's tricky because we're adjusting the pivot of the door as well. So I'm going to have to try this and then adjust the top. And we'll see and go from there. So this is that way. And now I believe I want to adjust the top to pull it back. inserting this I'm just going to move it by hand pull the tension off and then loosen it up in theory that's going to give us a much better pivot and then we can test it out oh yeah that's perfect beautiful and our door works nice and easy no troubles nice and straight. We've got a good seal all the way. We're good to go. That'll work out good. I do believe this should have probably been set back a little bit further. I didn't do the install, but I'll have to gain some water at it. Check it out. See here. Call the installer back or not, let's prove it out. 
here needs to be clean anyway, so we just turn the water on. Yeah, turn the cold water on. So it doesn't clog up the glass when you guys can see. Okay. And let's test it out. Clean it right here and see what happens. Yeah, looks like we're good. No water's going out. Clean it towards the back. Looks good to me. All right. Now I just gotta figure out how to turn the water off. <laughs> there we go. Cool deal. Drop a bit of water when you open the door, but what are you gonna do? That's a nice shower door though. Probably be good to spray some WD-40 to give it a nice coating so water runs off. Yeah, good to go. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over that. If you find these videos helpful, a one-time donation would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you uh, support me on Patreon, it helps me do what I do. There are some special perks for Patreon supporters. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.